Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's lesson is all about the Feast of Dedication. is long because I want to talk to you guys about the Feast of Dedication. Feast of Dedication? I haven't heard about the Feast of Dedication. I haven't even heard about the Feast of Dedication. What's the Feast of Dedication? I'll answer that tomorrow. Perfect. Yes, perfect. I am perfect. Matthew chapter 5 verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. reminded us about the assignment she assigned over winter break. She wants us to write an essay on the origins of Christmas. Of course, I'm going to use this opportunity to speak on the Feast of Dedication. Who knows? Maybe I can plant a few seeds like you and Abba. That's right, baby girl. Plant the seed and God will do the rest. Make sure you go over the history of the feast days and first and second Matthew in your apocryphal. The water, Abba. The water, Ima. Guess I'll go finish proofreading my essay. Almost done and save. I hope you all are ready to present today. The order has been decided. We will present in alphabetical order by last name. That means Malcolm. You will be first. Stacy next. Heather after Stacy. Billy after Heather. And Hadassah after Billy. Malcolm, start your presentation. Christmas is celebrated on December 25th. It is both a sacred religious holiday and a worldwide cultural and commercial phenomenon. For two millennia, people around the world have been observing it with traditions and practices. They are both religious and secular in nature. Christians celebrate Christmas Day as the anniversary of the birth of Jesus of Nazareth, a spiritual leader whose teachings form a basis of their religion. Mm. You know, popular customs include exchanging gifts, decorating Christmas trees, attending church, sharing meals with families and friends, and waiting for Santa Claus to arrive. As a matter of fact, Santa even brought me a laptop to 
person is <laughs> not like that piece of dedication thing that you were talking about. Ugh. All right, Stacey, it's your turn. Jeremiah 10, verses 1 through 4, says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Boys and girls, the Most High God, the God of Israel, gave his people holy convocations that are to be celebrated. Holy convocations can be a day or a group of days set apart to focus on the things of the Most High. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, you will find feast days such as Passover, the memorial for blowing of trumpets, Feast of Tabernacle, and First Fruits. These are examples of feast days where we are to rehearse the righteous acts, not Christmas or any other man-made holiday. Excellent job, Malcolm. Stacy, we're ready for your presentation. Christmas is an annual festival held by Christians to remember the birth of Jesus Christ. The festival is usually observed on December 25th. People decorate their houses with Christmas trees, lights, and usually exchange gifts and host a feast for their family and friends. And in conclusion, Christmas, like all other holidays, gives people the opportunity to fellowship with their families and loved ones and receives gifts of the heart. This year, my dad got me an iPhone and some accessories. Very good, Stacy. Wasn't quite three minutes. But we'll take that. Class, give Stacy a round of applause. Heather, dear, it's your turn to present to the class. Billy, wake up. Miss Robinson, I didn't do an essay, nor do I celebrate Christmas. I mean, it goes against my faith. Me and my family, we're Jehovah Witnesses. Like, we believe that the holidays are really based on, like, pagan customs and, like, money. Seriously. I I don't even celebrate my own birthday. Why would I celebrate Jesus' birthday, you know? Like, over the break, I slept and I spent time with family, which is what I do every single day. Thank you, Heather. See me after class. Billy, you're up next. Mrs. R, I was sick last night, and I still don't feel good today. So I might need more time for my, um, what's it called, uh, presentation. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, that. Then, uh, oh, and also my essay, because, yeah, I wasn't just feeling good. Sorry about that, Mrs. R. Billy, when I have a miss today, Please report to the front of the class. Uh, okay. Well, what Christmas <laughs> means to me, bro, is like, <laughs> you know, it's like family time and, you know, mom has the stuff all on the tree and the gifts, bro. Like, I love all my gifts. My little brother, he, he tries to, like, open my gifts, but... Mom always says that he can't, so it's kind of like, it's kind of fun to watch him just cry for no reason. But anyway, um, Christmas is all about family, and I just want to let you know that I know how to spell Christmas. Uh, capital C H R I S T M. A S Christmas. And um of course 
just, you know, we don't know, we don't, you know, we know that Santa's not real because I stood up for him one night. Ended up eating the cookies and the milk and got in trouble for it. But um, what I got for Christmas, oh, man. Like, I got a cool skateboard that had this sick paint job, did. <laughs> oh, my God. And then, like, a pair to your eyes with, like, these flames that, like, comes out of the wheel. Like, way better than Hot Wheels. Like, none of you guys got it, so don't even, like, ask your dad for it. <laughs> Billy, I see what you did there. You spelled out the word yeah. Christmas. To get to your three-minute mark. No. Please see me after class. And last but not least, Hadassah will close us out with her presentation. The history behind the Feast of Dedication begins around 167 BC, when Antiochus IV defiled the temple of the Most High by sacrificing pig's flesh on the altar. This made the Hebrews very angry and caused Judah Maccabees and his followers to revolt in 165 BC to recapture the temple. With our successful revolt, Judah Maccabees ordered the cleansing of the temple, the building of the new altar, and new vessels for the Most High. During this dedication, the priest's job was to light up the menorah, but there wasn't enough oil, or so he thought. But when the oil was poured into the menorah and lit, there was enough oil to burn for eight days. In conclusion, today we observe the Feast of Dedication, also known as the Festival of Lights, every winter, as it states in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 22. The purpose of the Feast of Dedication is to celebrate God's protection and victory he gives to those that are faithful to him always. Even though the Feast of Dedication is celebrated in the wintertime, it's not comparable to Christmas. We do not partake in hanging lights, trees, and other holiday items in or around our homes. Instead, we light our menorahs and hold a feast in remembrance of what happened to our people and how the Most High gave us the victory. Overall, I am pleased with your efforts today, class. I learned a lot about you. I hope you've learned a thing or two about each other. Hadassah, thank you for sharing something new that I didn't know about. I will research more about the Feast of Dedications. Boys and girls listening at home, you do the same. Grades will be posted by 8 p.m. tonight. It was very fascinating to learn about the Feast of Dedication. I never knew there was so much information on it. I really want to learn and read more about it. I encourage you to do so. There's no way I could have fully covered the Feast of Dedication in three minutes. In fact, I can ask my Abba and my Ima if you could join us for dinner. That way we can talk about that and more. Wow. Do you want to go? Really? You're really inviting me to experience the Feast of Dedication with your family? Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Of course. I have to make sure it's okay with my Abba first. And since we're neighbors, I'll let you know if he says yes. And you make sure it's okay with your family too. We must obey our parents. Abba, remember the essay I've been working on about the Feast of Dedication? Well, we presented it today, and the class was really impressed. Malcolm even stopped me after school to tell me he's going to look into the Feast of Dedication more. Is it okay if he feasts with us on the last day? Of course, Tristan. Brother Malcolm can feast with us, too. And great job on your essay. I knew you would never let me down. Yes. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining us, Malcolm. I'm sorry that your family couldn't make it, but it was nice of them to let you come. That's right. And Malcolm, you're welcome to fellowship with us at any time. If you take away anything from tonight, remember Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. He wins. I'm a, I, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Wow. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button.